Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to remove and uh, replace the rear brakes in a uh, 2007 Honda Fit. So it's pretty much any of the first gens and probably into second gens I'm sure are very similar as well. If you like the video or find it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Um, I do have some photography videos that you might find interesting as well. If you uh, check them out, I'd appreciate that as well. And if you want to subscribe, that'd be nice also. But uh, uh, drum brakes are a little bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, I have 220,000 miles on this car. It was in an accident recently, and I'm replacing the rear axle. So I was going to replace the, the rear brakes as well. And uh, really, honestly, they don't need to be replaced. The only reason I'm doing it is because in order to uh, disconnect the parking brake cable, I have to disassemble them. And uh, getting new drums and, and shoes isn't that expensive. And a, a hardware kit, you will need that um, as well because it just has some helpful, it has new springs and some other things that uh, are helpful. So I would suggest getting those all together. And overall, I don't think it's that expensive, I can't remember, but I think it's around 60 or $70 total for uh, all the hardware. Um, so unfortunately, because I was in the middle of another project, I didn't actually show the disassembly of the brakes, uh, but basically just get them apart however you want. You can cut springs and all that stuff if you're getting replacements. Um, I will walk through that a little bit in the video, but uh, I'll mostly show you how to, to put them back together. Uh, they're, they're a little tricky. They're definitely harder than uh, calipers. It, it would take you a couple hours to get it done, especially if it's the first time you've ever done uh, uh, drum brakes. So let's get started. All right, to get the drum off, this is my old drum. I've already done all the replacement, but uh, this one, I then actually had to cut this. So I'm replacing the rear axle and wherever the donor car came from it must have sat for a while with the, maybe the parking brake uh, engaged because uh, I could not disengage the parking brake the cables were cut and I couldn't reach into the adjuster screw and adjust it back I mean I tried but with this Honda's the adjuster screw is not in line with the, the, the access port so the access ports here the adjuster screw is like 10 degrees over so you're putting the screwdriver in an angle trying to find it and, it and even with it it wasn't adjusting properly so I ended up using a plasma torch cutting open a hole here um, releasing the, the brake shoes you know I got to the hole where I could see the adjuster screw and push it down and then I had to go in and actually like use the screwdriver to push the, the brake shoes in as well um, but even then at that point what you do is you take these eight uh, M8 uh, by 1.25 bolts into these holes and you screw it in and it pushes the uh, the drum off so so this comes off now to do the uh, to replace the the brakes I've already put this one back together but I can explain to you how to take it apart but you start off you can remove this screw uh, spring right here it doesn't really matter the order because it's just going to be kind of a mess pulling it apart anyways but pull off this spring um, you can remove these springs here. So what you do is with the screwdriver is you can push in like here and then on the back side you can twist this and it releases uh, and this will pop off. Do it to both sides. Then you get to the spring at the bottom and you can either cut it or pull it off or release it somehow and at that point then you're kind of able to open up the, the brakes shoes and just kind of pull the whole assembly out. You kind of work it off and then um, this spring and this adjuster screw kind of comes up through this slot here, kind of the opposite of installation. And then once that's off, you kind of get most of everything apart. You get the spring off when this is loose, and then you go in and you release the parking brake cable, which is simply just pull the spring back. It sounds simple, but pull the spring back so you can uh, unhook the cable from the uh, the, the bracket and you'll kind of see that on the installation part. So that's kind of the disassembly. The disassembly is not as important because you really are just pulling apart whatever you can. And so like I said, one of the easiest things to do, uh, you know, is when you push this in is actually to adjust this on the back side right here, you know, with the other hand, get it turned, pop these things out. Um, parts you want to keep is you want to keep this bracket right here. Um, you want to keep the adjuster screw because you don't get one in a hardware kit. You don't get this in the hardware kit. Pretty much everything else you get back in the hardware kit. All the springs, these things, these little uh, keepers, and um, a few other things. Uh, so that's pretty much it for disassembly. Uh, drum brakes just suck in general. So uh, I really hate working on drum brakes. 
Uh, I can't say that enough. Okay, to remove the stupid C-clip uh, for the parking brake, it's easy if you get a vise. I'm not sure how you can do it without it. You get a screwdriver. This actually is starting to come off already. I've already started this. You get a screwdriver right here and you just hammer it and then it starts popping off and then what will happen is on the other side you'll start uh, you'll get a gap and you can uh, adjust you know get in with the screwdriver behind it and pull it out and that's basically how you put it back put it in and then uh, or take it off and get the brakes installed so I've installed the uh, parking brake lever on this side and I put some anti-seize on there to keep it. Um, <clears throat> you have it sticking out over here. Uh, basically you have to pull the spring back a little bit in order to get this, uh, this piece through. Uh, so you're going to want to do that. One of the first things you do. Alright, so I greased all the, the mounting points where the, the brake shoes are going to touch anywhere. Alright, so the springy part goes towards the uh, parking brake and it hooks up into this up here. So it's a good idea to leave the other brakes kind of still together so you can kind of reference between the two as you're doing them. Uh, so this, the, the longer side faces out. Um, and then here's the tricky part. So is I like to hook the spring first. Say I like to, this seems to be the easiest method that I've found. Just hook the spring first. And this is where you wish you had three hands and you curse the existence of, of drum brakes. Um, so I don't have the uh, the hydraulics hooked up so this cylinder pushes in really easy that might be an easier thing to do I haven't tried it the other way um, kind of get everything lined up then you're gonna get the, the keepers for the brakes in so the first is the post the back hole here where I find it boom and then with the spring goes in use the screwdriver push it down and you twist on the back side to line the spring up. Right, there we go. One in, and then you basically do the same for the other. Alright, so the next spring to get is this lower one down here. Kind of a pain. Hooks on the underside. Has to go behind this thing right here. Um, needle nose pliers are going to be your friends. Uh, you got to make sure that the brake calipers are inside these little slots on either end. And uh, so let's the other thing that works is a flathead screwdriver. Okay, so last little pieces. Uh, there's this uh, parking brake adjuster thing, uh, or the rear brake adjuster. I, I grease the back end, and it slips in this hole right below here. Little uh, the adjusting screw. It's a little some. I don't know. I usually can get it. There it is. In. So this will engage the screw right there, and then the spring, which is uh, symmetrical, kind of goes right behind it here. Whoopsies. And right into there. This little groove, and then down into this hole right here. And that's pretty much it for
for the install portion. Sometimes it's easier to use. Let's see, a screwdriver to help hook it in. Alright, there you go. Get okay, everything kind of lined up again. Now the next step is to adjust the, uh, the, the brakes out a bit so they just start engaging the drum here. Um, and then you'll spin them and just make sure that the uh, that you know can slide but it has a little bit of dragging on the uh, on the brake pads just a touch you'll hear them uh, dragging so just FYI to, to adjust it out on this side it's you just put it on the adjusting screw and uh, you just kind of it uh, goes that direction and then on the other side it's the other direction and that's because this thing will go up and down and kind of hold uh, like actually kind of manually adjust it. So I'm going to do a little bit of the adjustment and then put it back on and then until it feels good. That one might be too, too much. Okay, so this is on. So this is uh, not bad. I'll adjust them out just a touch. I painted my white because I had high temperature white paint available. I didn't want anything like flashy like red or anything like that. But I figured it'll help keep it from rusting. Um, and uh, so I'll adjust these things out just a touch more because this is what's dragging on is the backing plate right now. And then that should be good to go. Right, so if you need to top off your brake master cylinder, you'll realize you actually can't get a bottle in there. This lip is obstructing where you need to pour. Well, if you notice, there's this cutout right here. If you pull this strip off, it allows you to just... And now, all of a sudden, you have access, which I'm not going to pour right now because uh, I'm holding the camera. But so you can just pour right into the master cylinder, it helps you check it, and it helps you to be able to uh, top it off. And that's pretty much it. So if, uh, again, if you like the video, please give me uh, a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. If you want to check out some of the other videos, uh, please do so. Uh, I have some photography stuff as well as some other like mechanic stuff and car stuff. Uh, if you want to subscribe, I'd uh, appreciate that as well. It does help um, the channel, and uh, thank you very much.